we are now well aware that science has advanced remarkably. So much that scientists can now begin the journey of life for a baby in a Petri dish. We call this in vitro fertilization. So what happens at the cellular level when a sperm and an egg come together inside the human body or on that Petri dish? We must explore the science behind the male and female reproductive system. But first, let's take a look at how the sperms and eggs are made. In the male and female reproductive system, the respective gamete cells, sperm and ovum are formed. The formation of these gametes is called gametogenesis. In the testis, diploid spermatocytes transform into haploid sperms by the process of spermatogenesis. Whereas inside the ovaries, diploid stem cell, oogonium, transforms into haploid ovum by the process of oogenesis. In spermatogenesis, each meiotic division is equal. The first division gives rise to two equal secondary spermatocytes. The second meiotic division then gives four equal spermatids. The process of spermatogenesis is hence continuous, which occurs after puberty. In oogenesis, each meiotic division is unequal. The first meiotic division produces one secondary oocyte and a polar body. The second meiotic division is arrested around metaphase II. At this point, ovulation occurs. Meiosis II gets completed post-fertilization in which the secondary oocyte produces an ovum and another polar body. And the first polar body divides into two more polar bodies. This results in the formation of one gamete cell called ovum and three polar bodies. Oogenesis is a discontinuous process wherein it initiates at the fetal stage which resumes again at puberty. The male and female gametes are haploid cells, each containing 23 chromosomes. The entire process of spermatogenesis occurs in the testes, whereas all except the last step of oogenesis occurs in the ovaries. The release of sperms, called spermiation, occurs through the lumen of seminiferous tubules and the ovum is released by ovulation from the ovary into the oviduct. The sperm so released is motile, whereas the ovum is a non-motile gamete. This process of spermatogenesis occurs every day throughout the lifetime. Formation of sperms takes approximately 70 days. With each ejaculation, about 200 to 300 million sperms are released. Although oogenesis takes place only once a month, until the female reaches menopause, producing only one ovum every month. Spermatogenesis is stimulated by both follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH, by acting on Sertoli cells and Leydig cells, respectively. Oogenesis is also stimulated by both follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH where LH also plays a role in ovulation. As a result of copulation or intercourse between a male and a female, the two gametes meet each other. This process is also known as coitus. Post-coitus, the deposited sperms swim upwards towards the ovum. Here, the sperm fuses or fertilizes the ovum to form a diploid cell containing 46 chromosomes called zygote. Let's summarize. Gametogenesis is the formation of male and female gametes within the male and female reproductive systems respectively. Inside the testis, spermatogenesis forms sperms from spermatocytes, whereas inside the ovaries, oogenesis forms ovum from oogonium. In the continuous process of spermatogenesis, each meiotic division is equal, first forming secondary spermatocytes and second forming spermatids. 
However, oogenesis is a discontinuous process where each meiotic division is unequal. The first division produces one secondary oocyte and a polar body, and the second division forms an ovum and three polar bodies. Spermatogenesis occurs in the testis, whereas all except the last step of oogenesis occur in the ovaries. The release of sperms is called spermiation, whereas the ovum is released by the process of ovulation. Spermatogenesis occurs every day, releasing 200 to 300 million sperms every ejaculate. Oogenesis takes place only once a month, producing only one ovum every month. Spermatogenesis is stimulated by both follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. Oogenesis is also stimulated by both follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. So after everything you have just reviewed, the formation of a zygote is only the beginning. What journey is in store for the zygote now? Here's a hint. Usually, the amazing transformation of the zygote lasts about 40 weeks and is divided into three stages or trimesters. Let's find out more about this in the upcoming videos. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.